Edward spent years near the top of Pro 100 and Virtus Pro, quietly developing his game before emerging as a superstar with Navi. There he enjoyed arguably the greatest season ever during 2010, capturing titles at IEM4, ESWC, and WCG. Navi earned their fourth consecutive major championship at IEM5 before runner-up finishes at ESWC 2011 and the game's final major, IEM6. Edward was one of the premier riflers of his generation and should go down as arguably the greatest pistol player of all time. Given the nature of the CS money system, the value in dominating pistols can't be overstated. As part of a Dark Horse Titans team in 2004, Wimp carried heavily on his way to an ESWC championship and WCG silver medal. Given his age at the time, he was unable to compete at CPL, and the team visibly missed his skill placing 6th at both summer and winter events. As the Titans became SK Denmark, he finished 2nd at ESWC, and later reunited with KK for a 2nd place finish at IEM1. At the end of 2007, he joined NOA before the club moved to MTW and had one of the great single years in CS history. They won five tournaments, including WCG, Webmasters, ESWC Masters, and Code 5. Wimp picked up another victory at IEM Europe and placed third at IEM 3 before retiring in late 2009. A true difference maker in-game and arguably the greatest Danish player of all time. Kogu made a name for himself with G3X before making his way to MIBR and emerging as the face of Brazilian CS. MIBR struggled with consistency for much of their history, but put it all together for ESWC 2006, where Kogu appeared unstoppable. Following their win, Kogu left the game to pursue a professional football career, and upon returning his skills had diminished one bit, dominating SHG Open to kick off 2007. He continued to lead the team until retiring for good in 2009. Through it all, he's left with fewer accomplishments than one would hope, but peer recognition and a major tournament victory help cement his legacy as one of the best players and oppers of all time. Get Right received his first big shot with SK in 2007, but didn't seem to fit with the team despite performing well. He soon found a home in Fnatic, helping lead them to the remarkable 2009 season, and wins at IEM3, Code 5, ESWC Masters, and WEG Masters. In 2011, he made the move back to SK, and this time helped recapture their glory days, winning titles at DreamHack Summer, Game Goon, IEM New York, and ESWC. With an endless supply of jaw-dropping highlights, many will remember Get Right as one of the most insanely skilled fraggers we've seen, but joining a stable and experienced team in Fnatic gave him the tools necessary to develop into one of the greatest players ever. Element rose to prominence with Eolithic and Game Online in 2002, winning CPL Oslo and finishing second at both CPL Summer and Winter. On skill alone, many believed Element to be the best player in the world at this time, but even more valuable was his ability to read and dictate the game, maybe the greatest of all time in that regard. In 2003, he elevated SK to their dominant year, this time winning both CPL Majors. He moved to NOA in Counter-Strike's first ever player transfer, winning CPL Winter 2004 and WEG Season 1. Element earned his last major medal on MYM, a second place finish at CPL Winter 2006. Finally, he helped lead Norway to a surprise fourth place finish at WCG 2008, rounding out one of the most illustrious careers of all time. Markaloff hit the spotlight with a breakout performance at Code 5 2008, dominating some of the best teams in the world as a relative unknown. He continued pushing Ukrainian teams forward until everything clicked in 2010. 
Navi won IEM4, ESWC, and WCG, setting the record for team earnings in a year, and the only season comparable to SK's legendary 2003. Navi would remain an elite team going forward, winning IEM5 and finishing runner-up at ESWC 2011 and IEM6. From his breakout until the end, Markolov remained one of the most talented players in the world, often elevating the level of his play when facing more difficult opposition late in tournaments. He was our choice for best opera in CS history, but don't let that cloud the fact that his rifles were also star caliber. While he lands at number 5 on this list, there was resounding agreement that had CS lasted another few years, we'd be talking about a contender for the number 1 spot. Counter-Strike grew tremendously in the early 2000s, and with a few well-timed performances, Heaton was the man of the hour. As demos made their way around the community, the legend grew and his rifle spray began to revolutionize the game. Heaton would win CPL Holland, London, Berlin, and CPL World Championships in 2001, before moving to SK and continuing to dominate in a manner we never saw repeated. There he topped another three CPL majors, two CPL Europe events, and WCG. Heaton is the most important and influential player in CS history with an unwavering passion for the game that made him an ambassador worthy of his title. The one and only. For all your contributions to Counter-Strike, its players, fans, and community, thank you Heaton. At number 3 is the other half of the game's greatest duo. There have been plenty of exciting players to watch in Counter-Strike history, but spectating Potty was a particularly beautiful experience, for the ease in which he outthought and outmaneuvered opponents, while finding a headshot on seemingly every fray. From the onset of competitive play, Potty was widely considered the best player on the planet, and it didn't take long to assert his dominance, topping Babbage's CPL in 2000. What we'd all come to learn is that, in championship games of the biggest tournaments, he simply had no equal. Quite fairly the greatest clutch player of all time, Potty went on to secure 4 CPL majors, 4 CPL Europe titles, and a WCG gold medal. scored a surprise victory at Wake Season 2 in his very first international tournament, but with no HLTV for the event, it passed with little acclaim. A few keen observers attending the event in South Korea began singing his praises, and before long the secret was out. After B-Grip, he teamed up with Fnatic, winning CPL Winter 2006 and earning medals at three other majors that year. Fnatic peaked in 2009 with wins at IEM3, Code 5, ESWC Masters, and WEG Masters, while finishing second at WCG. In 2011, he brought SK back to their glory days, adding another major championship at ESWC and his second WCG silver medal. With explosive pistol and rifle play that often resulted in impossible sprees, Force made the game look effortless against the game's best players. He captured more major tournament medals than any player in history, and it seems crazy that a player so flawless may not be the best of all time. Of course, 
There's only one name who compares. that Neo takes our number one spot. He is, by all accounts, the perfect player. Arguably the greatest pistol and rifle player of all time. Renowned intelligence and clutch play with some of the most advanced movement utilized by a professional. He's won more than any player in history apart from his teammates, and if there's any separation between he and Forrest, it's that he succeeded more with less talent around him. His career with Pentagram earned him a remarkable seven major championship wins, topping ESWC twice, WCG three times, and IEM twice, including the final major in CS, IEM 6. Neo is the greatest player in Counter-Strike history, and here's just a small glimpse of an extraordinary career.